Heart diseases in Kenya have been on the rise with high blood pressure and poor eating habits characterized as the major causes. I think in Kenya there um, are quite a number of patients with severe high blood pressure. And I think that is maybe because today people have much more food, much more salt than 100 years ago. So I think that's one of the problems why there's very strong high blood pressure in many patients. And of course then we only see the patients who survive. We don't know. There may be other patients who die quickly from a heart block because they have complete standstill of the heart. There's not a single heartbeat anymore, so that is not, you cannot survive that. Unfortunately, the cost of treatment is rather high, with a pacemaker placement ranging between 270,000 shillings and 300,000 shillings. And as a result, many heart block patients cannot access proper treatment in the country. In Africa, usually, the patient have to buy all the materials, the pacemaker and the cables from some offices and then bring them to the hospital. And of course there are several people and several companies who also are involved in that process. So pacemakers in Africa are more expensive than in Germany. And in total usually a pacemaker is more than 1000 euro. So it should be in, in Kenya more than 100,000 shillingi, even up to 500,000 shillingi. A pacemaker is a medical device that uses electrical impulses delivered by electrodes contacting the heart muscles to regulate the beating of the heart. The primary purpose of a pacemaker is to maintain an adequate heart rate, either because the heart's natural pacemaker is not fast enough or there is a block in the heart's electrical conduction system. A pacemaker is a small machine. We have one here. This is the next one we implant. Um, it's a small machine that can be connected to cables and the cables then can artificially give the patient the heartbeat that he needs. So the clinical significance is if you are weak because of heart block and in fact you can even die from it, even suddenly you drop dead and you're, then you're dead, this can be prevented and treated by a pacemaker that artificially takes over the heartbeat and optimally does the heartbeat exactly to the patient's needs. So patients should feel nice after implanting a pacemaker. They can perform exercise, they don't feel so weak, and they don't get dizzy or lose consciousness anymore. It is in this milieu that Kenyatta National Hospital, in collaboration with a team of doctors from Germany, embarked on pacemaker placement surgeries at the KNH Cardiology Theatre. Well, the main aim actually is that uh, many patients or many people cannot afford the 500,000 shilling. And our idea is, as experts in uh, cardiac pacing, to um, get a foundation, to get the devices for free, and to implant patients who cannot afford it or who have or are in big trouble to, to get the money, because this is more, probably more than one year income. And uh, this is our idea to help because this is a life-saving procedure. So actually you can die all of a sudden from complete heart block or um, uh, ventricular fibrillation. So the idea is actually to save life. According to Dr. Kasten Israel, one of the visiting cardiologists, the main of this project is to treat patients with heart block, a condition that affects the heart's electrical system which controls the rhythm of the heartbeat. I think this, this is a very beneficial project. It's, it's something that can be done even if we are only here once a year. We can try to serve as many patients as possible and they will have a big advantage maybe for the rest of their life. Heart block does not have any other form of treatment and can lead to an abrupt death. Therefore, the pacemaker provides a lasting solution for the condition since the pacemaker uses batteries, which can last up to a period of about 14 years before they are replaced. What you have in some patients is a very slow heartbeat due to a so-called heart block. And uh, the problem is that the only treatment for this, there is no drug for it, the only treatment is a pacemaker. The major question is, are there any risks that come with the pacemaker placement surgery? The one thing that we are very much afraid of is if any bacteria come into the wound, they can come to the pacemaker itself and also to the cables and into the heart. And uh, that would mean that you have to take everything out because the bacteria typically go inside the cables and the body can never get them out again. So that is the worst thing because when somebody is dependent on a pacemaker, 
and you have to take the pacemaker also, you are, you are, you are in deep trouble. What measures should be taken to avoid endangering the lives of the patients during the procedure? When you give um, intravenously antibiotics just before the operation, that reduces the risk of any kind of um, infection dramatically. So that's what we do always. All patients here get, get one injection of an antibiotic. And we have all, as you could see, the sterile drape. We have, in fact, single-use sterile drape. I think that is the safest. And we drape the patient, we cover them, we um, disinfect the skin. So we try to uh, avoid all risks for infection. After the surgery, patients need to take caution about their general health to avoid further complications. Um, the only thing that patients can do is here, if you have high blood pressure, you should try to maintain it at a normal level. That means try to take your tablets against high, high blood pressure. Even the problem is you feel nice normally. High blood pressure doesn't cause any pain. So, in fact, you feel you are full of energy. And when you take your pills and the blood, drops down, blood pressure drops down, you feel weaker than before. So many people with high blood pressure don't take their pills because they don't like them. And that causes the high blood pressure over the years. Under the current project, more than 35 patients with a heart block condition will benefit at a subsidized cost of only 20,000 shillings. Well, last year we implanted 32 patients. This year probably we can get up to 40. This a bit depends on the organization if we get enough patients. So we are really, we cooperate with the local physicians, with physicians from all over Kenya. So we hope that we get enough um, patients to implant. We can implant more than 60 patients. Though the project is intended to spread to other African countries, Dr. Israel was quick to mention that Kenya has been a perfect launching ground given the cooperation they receive. Because we have the Kenyan Cardiac Society with good connections all over Kenya. We have lots of, always lots of patients from Eldoret, from Kakamega, from Kisumu, from all places. So that's only possible when we have good connections here. And the people here in Kenyatta support us extremely well. They do their best to have the patients here in time, to make all the preparation and even to make uh, the job here very good. So that is very, very nice and it's a wonderful cooperation and I'm extremely happy about this international nice working together. Kenyan doctors will be offered training on the pacemaker placement surgery in order to improve their services in the country that uh, physicians like Dr. Gitura can come to Germany for one year, that we take care of all the financial stuff, and that they can get trained in very safe conditions where if something happens, we can recall the patients, we can solve the problem. And the problem is here, if we train here and something happens, it's difficult that because we cannot come for one patient, or, and the knowledge probably is not in the small villages, they don't have the knowledge to take care of the problem. With the high cost of pacemaker placement surgery in the country, the cardiology pacemaker project will help a lot of patients get treatment at a very low cost. And with a lifespan of up to 14 years and changeable batteries thereafter, this is a long-term solution to the heart block condition. Josephine Wawera, GBS.